So we're gonna retry quick. Um, I might just cut this out, depending. Oh, so you, that's another thing you, uh, you start in a different place, depending on what you, like, finished as. Like, if you finished as, like, second or third, you start in the second or third spot. Ha! Ah. <laughs> that's what you get for driving on my butt. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll have to retry some of them, but it's challenging. Uh, one thing, though, if you do play this game is you're gonna really want to learn how to drift right away because it's an essential part of the game, especially in later levels where you'll have, like, super tight turns and if you don't drift, you will... Uh, yeah. You'll hit a wall, you'll fall off a cliff, you'll fall into a pit, you'll get squished by something, you'll get eaten... <sighs> Need I carry on? Let's <sighs> not go for that right now. Second half. No, oh, really? Something I don't for a second. No. Oh, okay, I just bounced off that thing's head again. Nope. Ha! That's the clock, you guys. The, it slows everyone around you down, but you. It gives you the advantage to get away from them quickly. Here's the bubble that I was telling you about. The green one will fade away over time. But the blue one will stay indefinitely until you shoot it, quote unquote. I could have kept it there, but I knew the fireball would kill it, so. Uh, they will stop you from getting attacked. If anyone touches you, they'll explode, they'll die, and you'll keep going. Um, you can shoot it at people as a projectile with circle, but you have to have pretty good aim because it's kind of a one, sh one straight shot thing. I'm trying to get as much distance between me and them as I can right now because they're gonna be brutal on the last lap. Yeah, you guys, I promise I'll be uploading more, more often. But between my computer breaking down, work, and various other things, it's just been, ugh. It's been, ugh. Not cool. I'll probably continue with, uh, slide 2 here pretty soon. I haven't even started uploading that, but I started recording slide 2. Um, I've been recording Beyond Good and Evil. I think I've got the first two episodes of that up. Um, oh, Jesus. I was think I was the one to even put that down, too. Uh, I didn't get that one fast enough. Huh? Okay. Well, either way, I went, Hi, Cooper. Hey, doggy. My dog walked in the room. Hey, dude. What's up? What's up, dude? Ouch, my wrist. But, uh, I say that a lot. Um, blah, blah, blah. Jason and I will be doing a little mini of a nice creepy game, or sort of creepy game, coming up here pretty soon. Uh, I've got Folklore on standby. Um, Congratulations. I've got a lot of games that are just going to be starting to upload here pretty soon, so if you guys stick around. You can get a hang time turbo from jumping. The longer you're in the air, the bigger the turbo you'll get when you land. For big turbos, try to get extra air time by hopping off jumps using the R1 button. Which I'm sure you guys have seen me, uh... Uh, dog, I'm trying to thank you. Which I'm sure you guys have seen me uh, do as I race. Uh, yeah, if you hop right at the end of a, a jump, you get a nice extra boost. Uh, oops. Yeah. To access this boss garage, you must come in first place in all four races of this area. That's. Ugh. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Uh, that's Ripperoo. You need keys to get in there. That's the save point. Probably should have showed you some of this stuff, but meh. Sewer Speedway. I like this one. This one's pretty fun. Do, 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 Cooper. I don't lick me, please. What do 
you want, dog? I'm trying to race. You have your head right on my pants. Oh, slime and gels. Get your nose out of my freaking pants, dog. Oh, nope. <laughs> dog distracted. Dog's trying to make me lose. Um, yeah, you get two choices here of which way you want to go. Doesn't really matter. Get to all the same way, same place, all the same. Um, we're racing in the sewers. Yeah. Well, this is another one of those spots that kind of reminded me of uh, with Rick and Ralph. Is the barrel in the tube? It's pretty easy to avoid. I missed, but you know. Just don't get too close to it or you get squished flat. And you kind of like toddle along really awkwardly. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Not much to say about this level. It's a sewer. And as the quota seems for any game these days, it needs to have a sewer. Thank you for bringing me your uh, beaver. It's, it's just what I wanted, dog. I've always wanted that. My dog has this silly stuffed beaver. He tore the tail off and uh, picks it out, picks all the stuffing out of it, and it's just like, really? I don't know. He's a very destructive canine. For those of you don't, who don't know him, uh, ugh, that was really weird. At least that guy was flying over there. Uh, Cooper is a shepherd, German shepherd husky mix. So he's very big, and he's very demanding. <laughs> Aren't you, dude? ignoring me now. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the voices will clip over and double up. It's really weird. I would not. Um, again, not a whole lot to say about this level. It's a racing level in a sewer, and it's just like... Okay. Uh, this really wasn't one of my favorites, but it's one of the ones I remembered the most when I was a kid. I think because it was difficult when I was younger. Uh, there's a couple of levels that I really like, and then there's a bunch of them that I'm just like, oh, I got a race in this level, and I'm just, yeah. And I get squashed. See? You get squashed like that, you all flat, pop back out. It's kind of, uh, slapstick comedy. Oh god, I almost, mi <laughs> I almost missed. Oh, this like, seemed to always be like, the that was Coco who got hurt, but that was Engine's voice. Okay. Game, you gone cuckoo. Cool. Yeah, I don't even know how old this game is, you guys. Boom. I'm actually gonna check here. Oh, my arm's a little gross, because the dog licked me. Uh... 1999. Yeah. I was a kid when this came out. I remember it, too. Yeah, so that's, uh... Ugh, that's four trophies so we can go challenge Ripper Roo. Probably have like three episodes of this or something. I don't know. Maybe more. Probably stick with three for now. So it'll give me enough time. Uh yeah. And we're gonna go challenge Ripper Roo. And then we will check out the battle. Oh god. You scared me. <laughs> Yeah, um, he's a kangaroo in a straitjacket. I ain't got much else to say. Oh, I ran into the wall. <laughs> uh, each boss has their own little quirk, I guess you could call it. Um, they drop an item constantly behind them. So they're not hard to find, but it is a pain, because until you get in front of them, you're constantly dodging it. I think he drops... Yeah. yeah, and this is the the challenge of it. Ugh. I don't know, it's not like it's super difficult, but it's enough though where it's annoying. You only get three rounds to, uh... I ran right into that. 
just gonna bounce it off my head quick. You get three laps to try and beat him. Really? Because there isn't enough of that already in the track? Uh, you can either speed around him... Or you can actually attack him. See, there's what happens when you actually hit someone with the bubble. Oh god, I can hear him. Fling! Fling! I think this is probably the hardest of the boss fights, I think, honestly. Oh, really? Really? Okay, seriously? Now you're just trolling me. That's just not cool. <laughs> he sounds funny when you hit him. He sounds a bit like Polar. I think Polar's voice actor might have done the scream. I can't really be sure. Uh, I think he honestly is might be the hard, like either the hardest or second hardest boss fight I've had to do. Uh, the hardest, I would say, in tie for him would be the final boss. It's just because the TNTs are actually like, really hard to uh, just avoid in general. I think one of when somebody throws uh, uh, potions, but I don't remember because it's been a while. I've got a few more minutes, might as well. And what you get are... Little scary, supposedly lovely woman. Her bruise, crazy eyes. Very polygonal. And, oh yeah, so we get a key. That's where the keys come from. You're crazier than me. Have a key! Uh, Alright. Good luck, you'll need it. This is nice. Relatively. Yeah, and then you get the, uh... Door opens. Take a quick. Ugh, really? Congratulations on opening this new area. Here you will find four more tracks to race. Good luck. Yeah, four more tracks. Oops. Um, I might as well go show them off quick. I got a few minutes. Probably do the nah, like the battle later with Jason in a different recording or something. And here you get the, uh, special things. Turbo track, yeah. Weird crap like that. Um, I think this is Papu's. But I don't actually really remember. Oh, no, no. This is, uh, this is the final area. Yeah, we don't want to see much of that, because we don't, we don't need to spoil. No spoils. Yeah, because I think Papu's the next guy you have to f race against. Um, let's go take a look. Uh, we've got... Okay, right. Coco Park. That's a good, a good level. Um, yeah, this is the one... Yeah, this is our, uh... Ugh, Papu Papu's Challenge. This is the next guy we're gonna have to race against. Thank you, uh, phone, for buzzing quite angrily. Um, yeah, so next time, you guys, next time I play, I don't know when that'll be. Um, hope you've all enjoyed this interesting little look into games I used to play as a kid, or a game. Uh, that's all I got. Bye for now, guys.